Now I'm gonna get myself all set up here to do this turkey. Show you real quick. Turkey breasts come out and into the pan. Then we're gonna get the skin off of the turkey and loosen it up. And that's why I have my small knife here to help me pull it off. So that we can get the herbs in there. Beautiful. Let's get this guy going. Excellent. Now into that pocket, I'm not even gonna use this spatula. I'm gonna stuff lots of herbs. See that? Coating it. Fold that down over the top. Grab another big handful of the parsley and sage mixture. Get it in there. Fold it down over the top. I've got my butter melting up here. I'm gonna use this to continually baste the bird as well. Get the butter down over it. That'll give it some great color too. Nice. There we go. Salt and pepper again on top of the skin. And then when we transfer it to the oven, I'm gonna knock that oven back to 400 because I don't want the skin to get black on me. I want it nice and crispy and perfect. Knock that back to 400. When did you ever cook a whole Thanksgiving turkey in less than an hour? Well, I did because I cooked off two turkey breasts, boneless turkey breasts. Remember, you get these right at the regular market. Go up and tell your butcher what you need and what you're thinking about. Look how gorgeous they are, huh? Now, just like with any other meat I've ever made on 30 Minute Meals, you gotta give it time to rest, to let the juices distribute. So I'm gonna take the turkey out and transfer it to the serving platter. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my God, that gorgeous color. It's full of herbs. You can see the herbs that we put underneath the skin. It smells so fragrant and amazing. I'm just going to pick out the bay leaves that we had in these pan drippings here because we need to get them out to make our gravy. And I'm gonna put a little heat right underneath the pan that I roasted the turkey in to bring it up to temperature because I'm gonna turn these wonderful pan drippings into gravy. So I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of flour so it can be our thickening agent. I'm gonna whisk that in so we don't get lumps. And there's not a lot of fat in there because of course we just made turkey breast, right? I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. Got a nice bubble up on this. Gonna season it up with a little salt and pepper. Oh, it smells amazing. And I've got all that nice turkey broth in there and it's gonna thicken up beautifully with my flour. And now I'm gonna add a layer of flavor with the apple brandy. Don't worry about the alcohol in here, it cooks right off. Just a splash of that in there. And then let it reduce a minute, it'll intensify the flavor and the alcohol burns right away. And then to that, I'm gonna add some of the cider. See, that's the theme, it layers into every course of our meal here. Apple, apple, apple. So it'll slightly sweeten our gravy too and make it really interesting. Oh, put the cap back on, hello. So I'll get that in there. Oh yeah, and just keep working that together. This is just bubbling away. I took the drippings from that because they were just full of good turkey flavor and not too much fat because it was just turkey breast, right? And I thickened it up with a little flour, seasoned it up with a little salt and pepper. Then the theme ingredient of my Thanksgiving feast is apples. So I doubled up on my apple flavor. I added a little bit of apple brandy to it and let it cook out so I'd cook the alcohol off and concentrate the flavor of the brandy. Mm. Oh man, is that good. One more grind of black pepper, I think, because it's super sweet, because I also put apple cider in here. What a nice surprise. And look at the gorgeous brown color we got out of that gravy. Now I'm gonna get that into my gravy boat here. Just pour that off and into there. Oh, look at the gloss and the color to that. Beautiful. Check out this turkey, how gorgeous is this? Now remember, these 
two and a half pound turkey breasts I started with, two of them, have layers of flavor going all around them, herbs everywhere. On the bottom of the pan, I started with EVOO and lots of fresh bay leaf. As the oven heated up that bay leaf, the flavor went up through the meat. Between the meat and the skin, look at this. Look at all this green in here. That's another layer of fresh herbs, parsley and sage. I combined that in a food processor with some lemon zest and some extra virgin olive oil, and then I put it in between the two, and there's just flavor everywhere. And look how nice and crispy it is. That's because we put it into a super hot oven, and then we basted it with even more herbaceous flavor. Melted butter with bay leaf and the butter, too. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, the cool thing about this is that you could actually make three of these guys, and in the same amount of time, you can make two of these guys. Just line them up in the roasting pan, and then you could feed up to 12 people. This right here, two two and a half pound pieces of boneless turkey breast, that would feed up to eight adults. Gorgeous, isn't it? Really pretty.